We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts update. The holiday season's right around the corner, and for the beef market, that means one thing, roast and rib demand. Rib, round, and chuck primals typically carry box beef cutout values higher through year end. Last week's USDA choice cutout was nearly $9 per hundredweight higher than a year ago, and more than $7 of that increase came from the rib and end meat primals. Right now, most of the week over week cutout gains have been due to end meats pushing to seasonal highs. Many cuts from the chuck and round have set annual price highs over the last two weeks and are starting to drift lower. The end cut highs also correspond to a fall period where they contribute to more than 45% of the total carcasses value. Expect end cut values to break lower in the coming weeks. Rib cuts will need a relatively strong seasonal rally for the cutout to make further advances. Choice ribeyes are currently up 3 to 6% year to date, while short ribs and back ribs are up 9 to 34%. Cattlefax forecasts a fourth quarter choice cutout high at $205 per hundredweight. The daily spot market reached those levels in early November. To reach that price target again, the wholesale market will need to see a significant price rally from the rib cuts and get some help from end meat items. Slight to moderate seasonal price breaks in the other primals will make this a reasonable price expectation. However, more weakness in the end meats from the recent highs could keep the choice cut out in the low 200s, and weakness in the wholesale meat market could pressure cattle values. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Lance Zimmerman. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.